What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the 2016 Dodge Dart SXT. So let's take a look. So the 16 Dodge Dart, this one specifically comes in the white with black color, which actually makes it look a lot sleeker. Comes with the alloy rims, with good tread on the tires. Got a few nicks here and there, but overall the body's actually in really good shape. I actually love this about the newer Dodges. The lights look very modern. Put the little trims everywhere to give it a good contrast. This is what the fob looks like. So you got your lock, unlock, and then you can press it twice to open up the trunk. And you can also flick this off to the side and pull it at the same time and it'll actually pop out the key like the physical key that you can put in right there the interior is all black on the door you got yourself your power locks power windows and power mirrors off on the side right here you have all of your lightings or your light settings and your dimmers as well on the steering wheel you have all of the controls for your cruise settings and all of your voice controls. Right in the middle, you have yourself your two cup holders. You have an automatic transmission with the manual shifting as well. You got a 12 volt port right here with a little bit of space to be able to store some stuff. All of your weather controls, which we make sure here at Western Auto Sales to have great AC because as you know, summer's here get to the 110 150 degrees so we definitely need our ac but both the ac and the heater are working really really well you can turn off traction control right here and your emergency lights can be turned on right there the glove compartment is actually fairly spacious and it goes back really deep you have a center console which goes down pretty deep that brings an auxiliary port right there and also an additional 12 volt port All of your music controls right here and you have a cd player with uh, the radio as well uh, oh. and off on the side right here you also have a bottle holder and make sure not to put any cups in it because if it does spill it will spill over you also have a little compartment right here to the side where you can store a little bit of extra stuff and you have it for the passenger as well the driver has a handle and so does every single one of the passengers for when you're driving like a crazy maniac. You also have your visor right here with the mirror, with the little lights to make sure that you're actually looking pretty for the day. You also have a little glasses holder right here and you can turn these on and off. Turn this puppy on. This is what your cluster looks like. As you can see, it even lets you know that the trunk is open. And this specific unit comes with a 115,000 miles. Up the trunk without the key fob, you can actually do so right here. And you can pop the hood right there. And in case you ever needed the OBD2, it is actually right behind the hood right here. As a passenger, I am personally 5'10". So as you can see, you still have a little bit under an inch. Uh, so it is a little bit of a tight squeeze, but not horrible to the point where you're going to feel super uncomfortable. Um, you actually have, you know, on the outside, it looks like it's very tight, but you have a pretty decent sized amount of room here uh, to make it comfortable for even all five passengers that are going to be in here. Uh, you have a little compartment to store some extra stuff here and you can fold this down. You have two cup holders. You can even lift this up to have an additional compartment to put some extra stuff on and both of the seats have a little pocket right here to store some extra stuff right there as well. This is what the trunk looks like. So looks to me like you could probably fit about two and a half, maybe even three bodies in here. You probably have to chop up the bodies, but you'll fit the three in there for sure. And underneath you're gonna have your spare jack and wrench right under all those things. You just untwist the little cap right there and you can get access to everything and all of your floor mats that you can put inside to keep everything clean. And you can actually even fold the seats down from in there in case you needed extra room. So if those, the bodies you're actually putting in here are really, you know, overflowing, you can push them into the cabin of the car. All right, so under the hood, we have ourselves the 2.4 liter four cylinder coupled with the six speed automatic transmission. 
So this thing actually gets 184 horsepower. So for being such a small little car, it gets some pretty decent horsepower. It's going to pick up fairly quickly. Uh, beauty of it too is that you get 23 miles to the city and 35 miles to the highway. So it's got about, uh, I want to say about 14, I think a 14 gallon tank. Um, and so it would take you about 58 dollars to fill up at the roughly four dollars that we're at right now here in fresno california um so if you were to drive it like full highway miles you'd be looking at about 500 uh, miles to the tank so that's actually really really good all right so a couple of fun facts about this car is that uh this used to be a very popular muscle car back in the 60s and they remade it into pretty much like a sporty sedan as you can tell it actually looks really nice on the exterior so another fun fact is that it has a slight rumble, the 2.4 liter multi-air, when you, when you pick up speed, when you accelerate. Uh, and it actually, it makes it sound a little bit sportier. Um, and this was also, the, and also this was the last year of the Dodge Darts that were ever made, 2016s. So uh, if you're actually considering a vehicle around this size, I would highly recommend that you take a look at like the Mazda 6, the Kia Fortes, uh, the Volkswagen Jettas as well. Uh, but those are close contenders to this one but this is also a really great option. So some of the pros on the Dodge Darts are that it's gonna be a very inexpensive option. It's a great starter vehicle. It's gonna have good power. It's gonna have great fuel economy. It's very fun to drive and it's uh, it's easy to handle. Uh, you know, it's, it's not gonna throw you around everywhere. It's got pretty good sized uh, back seat. So it'll, it'll uh, like the rear seats for your passengers, everybody's gonna feel fairly comfortable. And some of the cons are uh, the front seat can feel a little bit cramped. Um, you can kind of feel like a passenger as you're the driver. And you also have a little bit of a restricted rear visibility. Uh, but overall, I mean, honestly, you can't go wrong with a vehicle like this as long as you maintain it and keep up with it. So this was the 2016 dodge dart let me know if you have any questions about it or if you have any comments just please drop a comment below make sure to like the video and subscribe to our page and if you have any questions about our buy here pay here we specialize in buy here pay here so anything at all that you might be uh, wondering about whether it's you're purchasing through us or through another buy here pay here dealership please 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 make sure to drop a comment below or just give us a call at 559-444-0123 we'd be more than happy to help out so I'll leave you on that one. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you on our next one. Okay, bye.